I am at Out in the Garden Nursery with Carol, and Carol, we love coming out here at any time of the year because you have the most beautiful display gardens. Thank so you. lovely. Really worth to come out to this dry, you know, drive to come out from the city or wherever you live to see it. And I think um, today you have some beautiful plants. I don't see any flowers, but what is your philosophy with this group of plants? Well, I'm a foliage person overall. I think it's really, I love flowers, They're, but I look at it as a bonus. I don't buy a plant just because of the, the flowers. I, like, I prefer to go for foliage. So I've picked a lot of things that here, it's very, very early spring, they're just coming up, but they're gonna give us a long season of interest with or without flowers. Oh, okay, so what do you have? So we'll start here. These are a couple um, Acteas. They used to be Simicifugas. They have beautiful foliage. This is a green, and obviously this is a beautiful dark. This is brunette. Um, they're a wonderful color texture all season. They don't bloom until September, October. Nice. And nice. then they're fragrant too. Ah, uh, and sun or shade? They're actually partial shade. Right. Um, keep them out of the hot sun. Little morning sun keeps the color better. All right, and then this one is kind of chartreuse. Yeah, that's the same. That's a triceratus. That's another one. Comes up early, beautiful foliage. Has a really interesting purple flower late in the season. Usually, uh, this one's about August, so it's a little bit early. But so you just have most of your season is just the foliage, and then you have a really interesting flower later and on. And it looks like orchids. That one's a gorgeous yes, one. Yes, they're really amazing. And then this I love because I don't even, I've never seen a flower on it. Yeah, this is an Aurelia. This is Sun King. Gets to be a huge foliage plant. They're easily three by three. I've heard of mature ones bigger than that. Mm -hmm. They are supposedly have a white flower and a, and a black <laughs> um, berry, but it's I don't think I've ever seen one either. It's Or it's underneath so much you don't even see it because you're looking at that beautiful right, foliage. But stunning foliage. Exactly. That chartreuse is gorgeous. It and is. then these look like ferns, but they're not. They're not. That's what I love about these. These are a runcus, and actually I like a runcus better than a stilbe's. Mm. Um, they don't have the color range when they do bloom that a stilbe does. They have little creamy white flowers. Um, they're much more drought tolerant, uh -huh. and, and they're much more you know, the stilbies, they get too dry, that's the end of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I just love these are a couple different kinds of aruncus. These are medium height, there's some dwarf and there's some large ones. And for as shade. Well. And they're shade as well, they're very okay. versatile. And then these kind of look like onions, maybe? They are, they're an allium, so they're okay. but they're more in the chive family. They're not the bulb kind, they're the more that they, well, I take a it back. Clumps? This one has a bulb, this okay. one actually is a clump. This is a little nodding one, has a beautiful little delicate um, lavender flower in May and June. It's a nice rock garden plant. Um, this is um, a, more on the chive side of the family. This is Tangudium. Has a nice big two-inch lavender flower in um, June and July. Cool the bees love oh, them. Oh, and we do and want to talk about these. Yes, sure. the bees really, really love them. They come up really early, so you have this interesting strappy foliage now, and then you have beautiful flowers in the summer. Great, and a sedum. You don't even think about sedums this early, but they're so cute, the foliage. They are, and they come up early, so you have this foliage really, really early, and then of course they have beautiful fall flowers that actually hold into winter interest. Uh, and that's for sun. That's for sun, yeah, both them and the alliums are sun. And then another ferny plant. This is another, yeah, I like, again, <laughs> textures, things that look like other things that aren't those. Sure. Um, this is an Artemisia Gijou group. It's um, a lot of people know the silver ones that are mm -hmm. very drought tolerant. Right, right. Totally and, but, different. But yeah, totally different. This one is not drought tolerant. It's a sun lover, but it wants some regular summer water. But it's also a summer bloomer. So it oh, ends nice. up with three to four foot little clusters of white flowers. Um, sometimes I like almost the bloom process because it has these big stems that come up really slowly and then they open to these little tiny flowers. Very cool. But they're not real showy flowers individually, but in mass, they're very lovely and they're July, August. Oh, nice. And then you have a collection of hardy geraniums. I love hardy geraniums. It's one of my favorite plant groups. They're just they're so versatile, they're so easy sun to part shade on most of them. Some are, end up like, this is one that I just love. It's Kamina, it's called. It's a beautiful um, foliage plant. It does have hot pink flowers for several weeks, um, but then it's just this really nice filler in the garden. Nice. And then this is Ann Thompson, this is Roseanne, which are two of the best geraniums on mm -hmm. the market. Um, once they start blooming, they'll bloom till fall, but until they bloom, they have beautiful foliage. Excellent, and this one hit with the pink. This is a, a pulmonium. It's called um, Stairway to Heaven. So it starts out very pink and then it'll end up to be a white and green cream with a little bit of pink and beautiful light blue flowers in May and June. Ah. Carol, this one has pretty dramatic foliage. What's this called? This is a Ligularia. This is Brit Marie, which is the darkest Ligularia in the market. Wow. That's another group of plants that I really, really like that I think are underused. Um, a lot of people don't like them. The slugs get into them and they're really Eight. sensitive for water, but they're such beautiful container they plants. Are. And they actually do have a summer flower, mm -hmm. bright orange yellow flower in the summer, which is really nice. And then all this beautiful foliage in between. Very nice. So you you have to come out and see the other Ligularias that she has here. It's a great place to come out in the garden nursery in Molala and really come and stroll the gardens and have a lovely afternoon. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming, Judy.